Hello Scrum Masters, welcome to section eight on servant leadership. We're gonna start off with this, the first of two main lectures in this section. It's gonna focus on servant leader characteristics. Previously, we've talked about mindset and heart set, daily, weekly, and monthly rhythms, facilitation, peaceful communication, and collaborating with managers. Much of what we talk about today is gonna to bring those ideas together. Here's the nitty gritty. I'll say a few words about the history of servant leadership. I'll describe the key idea, and then I'll go through 10 characteristics of a servant leader. And after this presentation, you will know what characteristics a servant leader embodies. So here's a little bit about the history. Servant leadership was used by Robert Greenleaf in 1970 in an essay titled, The Servant as Leader. And Robert Greenleaf is characterized as the person who developed most of the ideas behind servant leadership. Today, of course, servant leader and servant leadership is used throughout the business community. There's a key book by Robert Greenleaf called Servant Leadership, many other books by other folks, very well-known authors. Here's the key idea as described by the Greenleaf organization. Quote from Robert Greenleaf, it begins with the natural feeling that one wants to serve to serve first, then conscious choice brings one to aspire to lead. Further development of that idea, this is my thesis, caring for persons, the more able and the less able serving each other, is the rock upon which a good society is built. Whereas until recently, caring was largely person to person, now most of it is mediated through institutions, often large, complex, powerful, and personal, not always competent, sometimes corrupt. If a better society is to be built, one that is more just and more loving, one that provides greater creative opportunity for its people, then the most open course is to raise both the capacity to serve and the very performance as servant of existing major institutions by new regenerative forces operating within them. So the notion of servant leadership is a key idea the Scrum Master embodies. Let's talk about these 10 characteristics. Here they are, and the source of this information is the Green Lift Center, both this slide and the slides that describe each of these 10 characteristics. The 10 characteristics are listening, empathy, healing, awareness, persuasion, conceptualization, foresight, stewardship, commitment to the growth of people, and building community. Let's go through each one of these. And as we're doing that, here's what to think about. What do you think of this characteristic? Where are you in regards to this characteristic? And would you further yourself as a scrum master if you were to develop this characteristic? That's what to think about as we're going through each of these 10 characteristics. So listening, listen to everyone, support them in identifying when decisions need to be made and identify what is unspoken. Empathy, assume good intentions of others even when their behavior is not acceptable. Remember from peaceful communication, the notion that everyone is doing the best they can to meet their needs. And in peaceful communication, we defined empathy to mean understanding at the level of thoughts, feelings, needs, and requests. So peaceful communication makes empathy very concrete. Healing, support healing in oneself and others with the goal of supporting personal development. Folks in the servant leadership community talk about the search for wholeness in the Agile community, we talk about bringing our whole self to work. And this leads to a culture that is free of fear of failure. Awareness, self-awareness is critical. Remember, that's what section two was about. What's the mindset and heart set of a scrum master? What do you believe about the world? You have to be self-aware enough to understand what you believe and to explicitly construct that belief system. And then observations are key. What is your awareness of the situation, of the actual facts? Can you free yourself of judgment, of criticism, of opinions? Persuasion. Scrum masters do not force compliance. Instead, they invite participation through ideas like facilitating meetings and achieving consensus and working on making sure that all voices are heard. Conceptualization. Scrum masters dream great dreams, to quote the Green Lift Center. You operate at a higher level of abstraction. You don't think at the level of the problem, you think at the level above the problem. 
You imagine what the team could be and you share that vision with the team. You don't spend your time focusing on the next firefight. Foresight. As a Scrum Master, you understand the lessons of the past to understand the likely consequences of present actions. And the work that we've discussed already in this course, the observations, expectations, and emotions journal, they're very helpful in developing foresight. And remember that mental model framework that we described in section two. Mental models lead to actions which lead to unintended and intended consequences. All of that helps in developing your foresight. Stewardship, the feeling of having an obligation to help others, caring for others, holding something in trust for another. So this is not yours. This is something that you care for and support because you're holding it for others. Commitment to the growth of people, the critical, critical notion that people have value beyond the work that they do. This is almost opposed to some of the things that are taught in business school. And the goal is to nurture the development of everyone and their whole self. And finally, building community, fostering personal interactions, asking yourself, do you have a best friend at work? Do the members on the team have a best friend at work? Is there community inside of the organization? So what's next here? Watch the next video in this section and then do the homework assignment. So to summarize, you've learned about the history of servant leadership and you have learned 10 characteristics of a servant leader. Best wishes and enjoy.